welcome back to my youtube channel today we are reviewing yet another book um so i just want to say before i get into the book thank you so much for everybody that is supporting me everybody that's liking sharing um i see it when i see people that i don't know that are okay my people the friends my friends are sharing my videos they're sharing my channel thank you so much Thank you for subscribing, for commenting, for each and every like. Thank you so much. I am growing so quickly. It's so unbelievable, but I, I, I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't have the support. But I'm seeing the support and it's really great. I really appreciate it. I feel so surrounded. So today we are reviewing. It's still, um, it's still September, by the way. This is my October read. I was supposed to read this book in October, but I'm already done with it. So for September, I read two books. Yo. Yeah, because they move so quickly, guys. They move so quickly and also they're not so long. This one is... Uh, it has 262 pages. Yeah. If you watch my, my first vlog, this is the book I unboxed. We're going to need more wine by Gabriel Union. Yeah. It was so fast. It was such a fast read. But yeah, let's get into the nyamas of this book it started off flat guys it, i won't lie to you it started off flat for me and i was like mm, no <laughs> um she was uh she she obviously like all autobiographies she starts off how she grew up uh, where she grew up and all those stories around her childhood you know so it was really flat for me I think my fault was comparing it to Bugaya, Will Smith, and Viola Davis. So those ones, they were so good. They were so entertaining. They were different. Hers was, I don't know, but it was flat for me, guys. I can't explain it, but it was flat. Like, it wasn't nice. Put it simply, it wasn't nice for me in the beginning. Um, so, but she tells a story about what it's like to grow up in... Um, a white community as a black girl in in those times um what well what her life was like her parents you know all those things so it's it's good in that way that okay at least she's she's taking it from where it began for her i didn't really catch when she really started her career in the entertainment industry maybe, maybe i was reading too fast but i didn't catch that and I'm not going to go back, guys. I don't read a book twice. I don't watch a movie twice. Um, I really liked when when she was a teenager now. There was a lot of beautiful stories that she told around what it was like growing up as a teenager um, during those times. It was so good for me. And then I think that's where it, it, it took off. It started reading off fast. She does, she does tell a story about her, the time when she was raped. It feels like a movie. It feels like a movie because while this guy was busy raping her, she took the gun and shot the gun, but she missed. <laughs> it, it, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. It feels like a movie, but it, it like when I remove all the entertainment part of the story, it's really painful to read about that because... You could see that okay it, it, it affected her it affected her family her friends everyone around her was affected by this story but by, by what happened to her and it's so it's it's one thing that i picked up and that i know is happening um around us is that if there's this there's this shame around being raped there's this there's shame guys there's just shame even for her during those times there was shame and they, 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 it wasn't supposed to be that way because something terrible happened. Um, it, it, it was so bad, but there was shame. And to this day, there's still shame. And that's why there isn't so many rape cases. Um, everybody that, like a lot of people that are raped, they don't want to go forward. She, she even talks about it in the book that the, the reason why she decided to speak about this is because a lot of people are not willing to come forward a lot of people don't want to go to court a lot of people don't want to relive those days those moments they don't want to think about it ever again they just want to chuck it out and move on with their lives because 
they're, they're afraid of the shame they're afraid of reliving the trauma having to go through that story again telling it and maybe even facing the guy that raped you you know so she she's she's an advocate to this day um she talks openly about her journey um from being a victim to being a survivor you know and now being an activist so it's 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 i i like that so much. i was obviously looking forward to reading more about Dwayne about their relationship she did write about her first husband i didn't even know that she was married before but she did write about her first husband a little bit not so much a little bit um, and she also she, she she also writes about the men in her life how the men were um, leeching on her in a way like they were yeah they were using her for money and um, her fame a little bit of her fame but more of her money yeah they were using her for for her money but it was different when she met Dwayne Dwayne wasn't that even the father when the father met Dwayne told him listen young man if you're after her money this is not the place but it wasn't it wasn't it's different so the relationship with Dwayne is different from all the relationships she's had because Dwayne is not with her for financial gains. Dwayne is with her for love because Dwayne has his own money. I was really expecting at, at least two chapters to be dedicated to their relationship, you know? Um, there's a lot that happened. Obviously, they're in a different space right now, but I feel like I was, yeah, I was expecting a chapter. I was expecting more. Like, Dwayne is mentioned in passing in this book, literally, in passing. There isn't much really there isn't much um but i i feel like it's also a personal choice which i respect the book is about her not about other people the book is about her so Dwayne is mentioned in passing around her stories in her stories that's it it's not there's no chapter dedicated to their relationship no there isn't i was disappointed at first and then i accepted it i was like okay it's a personal choice and it's okay you don't have to it's an autobiography but you don't have to go all the way you can go all the way but you choose what you want to tell people just like with my youtube channel i choose what i want to like what i want to show what i want to tell and stuff like that and i feel like it's the same for everybody else who puts their life in a public space they choose what they want to tell and she chose and i respect the choice one thing about this woman this woman is so honest guys the honesty <laughs> like even the reviews like if you read the like these reviews um, they talk about how she's honest, she's open, she's really honest. Okay? Some of the stuff, the, her thoughts, some of the stuff, I feel like, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't be this open. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be this open. She's really open. She's really honest. She's she's really honest about her feelings, her thoughts, her life. Like, uh, like remember I said she chose what she wanted to tell. And whatever she chose to talk about, she's honest about it. Like, fully honest. And... Even though the book started off flat for me, I would definitely give this book five stars because of the honesty. I, I love I love it when people are honest about their experiences, their feelings, their thoughts. It's really good, guys. She's not hiding anything. If she chose to tell you about this story about her ex, she'll give you all the details and she'll be brutally honest um, about what she did. And so, like, honest, honest what she thought. There's a part where um, they're talking about, she's talking about, another girl who just started who, who entered the industry just started in the industry and they're comparing this girl to to her and they're saying oh this is the new miss union and so forth you know and she felt off like, like oh and this girl when they met at, at an event she said can you please mentor me and she felt otherwise imagine guys just going out there and saying I didn't want to do it i was like no she's gonna replace me like she speaks about her fears around that but she came to a realization that it's okay. There's enough space for all of us and I can mentor her and she's not going to replace me or anything like that. There's enough space for everyone. So, yeah. So you see, she was, she was honest. Like she was really, really honest in this book. She also talks about, uh, like having children. Yeah. She talks a lot about having children, which is a chapter that I expected. Um, she goes into detail about her struggles and but she, i think she goes more into detail about people around how the media was talking about her and her ovaries and all these things i like that part as well because she was really really honest she was honest about 
her going into a room and the nurses coming so many times to ask her are you pregnant because they saw an article out saying that she's pregnant and that time she's not even pregnant you know um, the struggles and the shame also around it like people trying to shame her for not having babies at that time you know and stuff like that yeah around motherhood she also talks about um being a stepmother brutal honesty like honesty she's really honest she's so honest talks about uh, being a stepmother what it was like for her and she also gives advice to people that are stepmothers stepfathers that you know what your job is not to replace your job is to just help raise the kids and that's one thing that she's enjoying to help raise the kids um also talks about how she feels guilty about being away for work you know because she's she's an actress they shoot in different locations and sometimes they are away for months you know so i mean it is what it is but she talks about how she feels about that and how the children also receive her as a stepmother who is forever traveling but she's really trying you know guys at the end of the day children gotta eat she's gotta put food on the table like it is what it is i would definitely recommend you reading this book it's so good it moves fast it's not as i said i read it it took me a week to read this book yeah i give it five stars and there's a follow-up on this book i think it's we're gonna need something stronger or do you have something stronger i think i'm gonna get that as well yeah i like her writing um some people in the in the reviews they say it's funny for me yeah it was funny here and there it wasn't f yeah it was funny not that not, not funny for me to put the book down and laugh out loud no it wasn't that it was just yeah just oh yeah i would giggle here and there it was good it was really good i feel like i know her more now yeah thank you so much guys i hope you're having a lovely day and you guys are good thank you bye bye <laughs>